welcome to the stairs again. <laughs> uh, it's not very sunny outside, so I'm not quite sure how this light's going to work out, but it's what you're getting. <laughs> um, so this is my weigh-in Wednesday. Uh, it is actually Friday when I am filming this. Um, we had the 4th of July was on Wednesday, and I did weigh in on Wednesday. Um, I just didn't film the video because um, Joel was home all day and I spent the day with him. And then yesterday um, I was not feeling very well, so I did not film anything then either, but here it is. <laughs> um, I have my little book that I have all my weigh-ins and I wanted to show that to you because normally I don't um, write them down. I just keep everything in my phone because my scale has Wi-Fi and it sends my weight right to the app in my phone, which is really cool. So I don't have to bother writing it down or remembering it. Um, but I also just kind of like writing stuff down sometimes. Um, so I'm just trying to find my papers here. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, so, Wednesday, July 4th, 2018, weigh in was 233.0. So, when I stepped on the scale, I was immediately disappointed because I thought I should be 231. Um, but that's because I had weighed in, you know, during the week, in between the Wednesdays, and it was 232 pretty consistently. Um, and so when I saw 233, I thought that it meant that I gained weight. But last Wednesday, I was actually 233.7. So I actually did lose point seven pounds this week which is awesome I mean again we've talked about this before where I sort of set myself up <laughs> for disappointment by checking my weight in the middle of the week because if it does go down um, then I you know I just get confused I guess <laughs> as to whether or not I gained or lost or stayed the same but I did actually lose um, and so I wrote down I went through my phone the app on my phone with all the weights and I went back as far as um, September, last September and I wrote down all of my weights and then, I don't know if you can see this, I wrote down all the weights and then I wrote down the loss or gain all the way in the right hand side. So um, it's really interesting to see it all written out it's the numbers are really varying as to how much I've lost per week or gained um, but it's almost exactly every four weeks there's a gain so it's a loss 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 <laughs> gain um, you know I'm down overall of course but I think it's pretty interesting I don't know if it corresponds with um, you know when I have my period because that would make sense right every four weeks um, pretty interesting so I'm glad I wrote it all out so that I can continue to watch it because I've been pretty consistent with the calorie intake um, so I haven't found like a correlation yet of how much I lose versus what I'm eating because my eating has been pretty consistent um, I don't know if you saw when I held this up, I wrote a few of my like non-scale, non-weight related goals. And <laughs> it says wear sleeveless. So I've never worn anything sleeveless like out in public ever. Um, and then I put wear shorts slash skirt. I do wear dresses, but they have to go to the knee or below. Um, same with shorts. I've never worn shorts that are like, I guess I've never worn shorts. <laughs> I've worn capri pants. Um, way less than Joel. <laughs> I think I'm about 10 pounds away from that, which, you know, I'm going to catch him. 
and then Wonderland, which I'm sure you know what that is if you're watching weight loss videos, but if you don't, it's Wonderland spelled with O-N-E, Wonderland, which just means that you're in the 100s. Um, so 199 pounds is when you hit Wonderland. Um, and then lower cholesterol, as you know, I talked about this in my previous video. Uh, I'm very frustrated about the cholesterol thing because um, I have been very careful about my diet and saturated fat and trans fat, and I have been counting all of it in my phone, and it made me very curious to see what my saturated fat intake what has been. Um, before I started really limiting it uh, and I went back and looked and it is already was already quite low um, everything that I read said that if you're trying to lower your cholesterol that you should keep your saturated fat intake under 13 grams per day and I went back and looked over the past two years of my food log and my average saturated fat intake has been six to seven grams per day so um, you know it's already pretty low which is great um, but that's why it's frustrating because I don't know where to go from here um, I don't know how else to improve my diet um, which means that it is likely um, you know the hereditary type of high cholesterol that I would get from my dad um, from my family versus, you know, from my intake. But whatever, I'm going to keep tracking it. I am determined to fix it somehow. <laughs> um, and then the last one was to cross my legs nicely. And that's how I phrased it, cross legs nicely. I can cross my legs, um, but I've never been able to nicely cross my legs. Again, if you are heavy that you know what I mean. Uh, legs are, especially my thighs, are especially just too big, you know, to nicely stack one on top of the other. So to, in order to cross my legs, I either cross them like a man. So, um, you know, where, you're, where your one leg is like flat over the other, um, or I have to shift my weight onto like one butt cheek so that my body is sort of um, tilted and then my leg can cross over. Uh, and it's comfortable, it's fine, but just if you have ever been heavy or if you're like me and have always been heavy, it's just one of those things that you've always wanted to do is to like sit like a lady <laughs> and, and properly cross your legs. So. Um, it's just on my goals and of course I just wanted to make some non-weight non-number related goals because I have always made number goals and I've never actually achieved them so I want to be able to have these things that I can check off you know even if I'm not at my final goal weight um, to have the confidence to wear something sleeveless anyway um, would still be achieving my goal, even if it has nothing to do with the weight that I have lost. So um, that's it for this um, Weigh In Wednesday. I definitely would like to get into the 220s. It doesn't, the way it's going doesn't quite seem like I'll hit it next week because that would be what, a four pound loss in one week, which is likely not gonna happen. Um, if I look back, it's been 0.7 this week, 1.3 pounds last week, and only 0.2 the week before that. Um, and then I lost three pounds and two pounds um, the weeks before that. So four is a little out of the ordinary especially if I follow this, um, you know, sort of pattern, it kind of indicates that next week I would gain weight, but I hope not. <laughs> um, but within the next two weeks, it would be really nice to see 229, so that's what I'm kind of going for. And I hope that um, 
you are doing well and thank you for checking in on me and seeing how my weight loss is going and I'll see you again um, for a weigh-in next week.